Anthony Gargano from 97.5. The Fanatic joins us right now here on Keyshawn J. Will and Max on the Goodyear Hotline. Good morning, Anthony. What's up, fellas? What's up, Anthony? You correctly said it. The fans have taken it easy. They've coddled Ben. Yep. Yep. Well, what's your? So let's start with this. I can imagine what the fan reaction is going to be. What's your reaction to the Ben Simmons situation? I mean, guys, I, I, I love this kid coming out of LSU. Yeah, I like everybody else looking at the skill sets. I, I, I'm stunned that this is where we're at this deep into his career. And I just don't understand what his beef is. What, what, what's his problem? Why does he want to leave? He signed a contract that has four years left in it. Like, if you would have known if you didn't want to be here, you wouldn't have signed the deal. And it goes back to, I, I just think there's something he's got issues and he tries to hide behind certain, you know, lies that he makes up in his head because none of it, none of it holds water. He was the reason why they lost that series against Atlanta. AG, stop, stop. He's oh, not. He's not. Here we go. Yeah, there, AG. You, you, you guys had a dumb. Oh, you guys. Here we go. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 false narrative. Whoa, 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 Anthony, I, I'm, I'm not sitting up here on national TV and radio trying to say that he wasn't one of the main reasons why. But it's not like you guys didn't have a double-digit lead, close to a 20-point lead that was blown multiple times in that series. I, I just don't understand how I, I get You're the right. vitriol, but I don't understand right, how he becomes like the main than villain. The offense. Yeah, but you, you, but you know better than anybody. He, uh, he couldn't run an offense with Ben. Ben hid. But, if you watch but Anthony, that game, he's not a point guard. Series, he he's hid a, in plain sight. He's a point forward. He's not a point guard. The ball shouldn't be in this man's hands. Doc Rivers came out from the beginning of the year. He's like, he's our point guard. I'm like, why are you doing the same thing that Brett Brown did, Doc? It's the same mistake I'm All watching right, well, over and over. He's not a point guard. If the ball doesn't belong in his hands, where is he? Because he can't stretch the floor. Because he won't shoot. He's a point forward. When he gets what? rebounds, push the ball in transition, set screens, dunker spot, roll to the rim, allow Joel Embiid to flare out, shoot threes. That's the position he should be in. You're still playing four on five in a half court set because you know in the playoffs it becomes a half court game and he's useless in a half court game. I agree. That's why it doesn't work. That's why it doesn't work with Joel Embiid. <laughs> well, That's why he needs well, to be on a different team. Just went to the rim. Like how about if my I agree? Man I agree with you on the that. rim. I agree with you on that. I'm, once again, Anthony, I'm not making excuses I mean, for his lack of aggressiveness. Be hard yeah. Do, Doc, listen, yeah, yeah. Doc yeah, Rivers mean, playing like, an all bench be unit. Doc Rivers playing an all bench unit didn't help things in that series either. But Wait, Anthony, let me ask you this question. I, you guys Anthony. are right. Let me, yeah. let me ask you this. Of course, this. we're right, AG. You knowing the history and you pay <laughs> close attention. I know I give people nicknames for no reason. That's my fault, Anthony. Um, knowing his history, yeah, I love it. how he is mentally, right? Do you think. He'll miss that first game against New Orleans. Your first game at home against the Brooklyn Nets. Do you think that Ben Simmons will shrink, or do you think he will step up and handle that challenge that first game back? <laughs> uh, listen, guys, I would bet my my pinky toe that he doesn't play. He doesn't even show up to the arena Friday night. 100. That, yeah, that's that, what will happen is he'll get kicked out of practice tomorrow when they come back and he'll be suspended for Friday night. Mm. I, I, there's no way I could fathom him walking into that arena. He has done tested the fans' patience enough. They love that kid. You know, like, like they, they tried to will him, and they're done. I mean, you could well imagine what this fan base has been through since the whole process started, from uh, Colangelo's wife and the Twitter eggs. Huh. To Markel Fultz, who didn't want to shoot. I mean, this thing has been one craziness after another. Hey, Anthony, let's just let's play a game here. Let's play devil's advocate. What if he does show up and fall in the line and he plays in that game? What 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 will be the fan base's reaction at that point in time? Well, they, they will you know, obviously they'll boo him <laughs> vociferously for, for the, every time he touches the ball. But if he integrated, let me tell you, we're a forgiving society, right? If he integrated himself, all he had to do, guys, is go, give me a big mea culpa. Yo, man, I'm really sorry. I don't got in me. I, I, I just want to be a sixer. I just want to play. I just want to do the right thing. That's it. 
No, let me and ask you this. And that he stole. Do you think, though, the Philadelphia, and I've and I've played in Philly against the, the, the Eagles or whatnot, and I know how disrespectful they can be to the opponent. Do you oh, think? Oh, here we go. You booed Santa Claus. Come on, man. Do you think? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's fake, fake you, news. Yeah. Do you think <laughs> fake news? Yeah. Do you think at all though that they played a part in how he no. feels a year ago? Now you getting ready to sit here and tell me? Uh, look, absolutely I watch as much not. sports. Stop. I watch as much sports as you do. Times seven hundred. Are you telling me? Because I live here. Because. Come you on, got man. no idea what goes on here. Yes, None. I do. You I came can here see as it. the enemy. But I can you still got, no, you see can't it. See nothing. Oh, see, come on, nah, man. man. I got, I got people. Nonsense. Hold on. I got people like street. Tim Legler, who lives in the area. I got people like Stephen A., who's worked Listen, in Legs the area. Is a friend of mine, he knows. Okay, the fans in Philadelphia are so disrespectful that. Negative. Are you telling negative. me? Negative. You weren't that. there when they tried to. You weren't there when they tried to buttress him to give him confidence. But that's not what I asked you. I, saw, I, I asked was you, there, man. And I asked you simple. Do you think you and your fan base played any role in his feelings? Absolutely not. Oh God, I got to get this no. off the air. No. You gotta get you. I no. can't, I can't no, I don't, have you think, I, I don't think, you know, I got to be honest, Key. I, I thought that the Philly fan base basically took it easy with Ben Simmons. Now, of course, if you don't shoot, if you're one of the culprits for why you lose a series, exactly. of course they're going to get on you. That, that... Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.